It's been so long since I've been there, see? It's like, it literally seems like a lifetime ago. And I've just been locked down. I was locked down before you guys. I was locked down under the illegal martial law, keeping me poverty stricken all my adult life. And then it got worse when, you know, I lost the devotion of Lisa. And uh, it's like now, you know, I got a snitching ass old cantankerous fucker next door that sits and watches me, can't wait to see me pull out so he can call the police on me, have me arrested. And you know the other day, he threatened me with a shovel. That video is on the Modify channel. He threatened me with a shovel and shit and I filmed him right after with uh, my camera and put it on Instagram so I'd have the video to refer to for the video I did. Then I archived it because well, uh, Instagram likes to sabotage your profiles by putting your most distasteful shit at the top of the scroll to drive people away. So yeah, that video kept sitting on, on top of all my jazz stuff and, you know, my pictures of the dog, you know, that everybody likes. They like these pictures and videos that I shoot from here, you know. So I usually shoot one from here and post it. I'm probably not going to today, though. I already posted from the gazebo. But, uh... God used to be able to provide supernaturally for me, you know. I've actually shot videos about it where, like, I was walking Gato out, out near a trail. And uh, he walked me right up to a $20 bill one time. Another time I found $10. Another time I found a roll of some singles and shit. It's like, you know, God used to supernaturally provide for me, you know, like having the Ravens provide for a profit. And I don't know, maybe it's negative things that drew me to wanting to, you know, as a kid, I used to pray to have a double portion of what Elisha had, which was double portion of what Elijah had. And I used to pray for that, you know, not knowing what I was praying for, that, hey, if you if you pray to be a prophet of God and he actually elects you, <laughs> you're in for a world of hurt, yo. Because the prophets, if you study them, they lived hard lives for all the supernatural power that they had access to. They may have had the supernatural power to make wealth come, but they couldn't make it come to themselves. So if they ever did create anything, like the woman with the oil who made uh, the prophet, uh, you know, a little meal cake out of her last stuff, you know, her last oil and shit. Now, well, you know, he caused her to become wealthy because he caused the oil to keep overfilling in the vat and they had to keep dumping uh, oil into vats of people their neighbors, they had to go borrow vats from their neighbors to put the oil in. And then that woman was able to sell the oil. She became wealthy just from helping that profit. You see? So yeah, it's kind of like the negative stuff attracted me to them because I felt like God needs that now, you know? I mean, because I was in the church, I was a kid, and I knew that they were deflecting, calling everybody else evil while, uh, while they were doing stuff to me and other little kids in their homes and in the basement of the church while the sermon was happening, stuff like that, you know? And that's when I knew that there was something wrong with, uh, with you know, the whole thing. And uh, that, you know, they were liars. You know, they, they don't really, they don't really love God, you know? Otherwise, there would be 70 million homeless animals with 2.2 billion. Uh, Christians on record, and there's probably more who claim to be Christian than that. Yeah, the guy next door, I wish he would have threatened me with that shovel while I'm in the state of mind I'm in now, because I sure would have jumped that fence and took that shovel away from him and chopped his head off with it, you know. Would have made a nice news story. I would have went to prison, but, you know, I'm kind of already in prison right now. I just, I don't have any of the benefits of it <laughs> you know I mean I can go out and chip look yeah I can go out walking like an old bum you know like I didn't sow the seed to keep other people mobile and I did sow the seed for my siblings and a whole bunch of other people so it's like it's supposed to be coming back and they, you know they don't want to let me have my harvest and right now I need my harvest to somebody young who wants to 
you know, drive me around in exchange for what I could offer, you know. Who knows, I might be able to get out and raise some money in some capacity. Uh, you know, I'm not going to do anything like this. I've been wanting to get up to uh, Family Fair to sit and do their computer thing. You fill out an application and see if I can't slip through the cracks and get on their night stock just to have a job, you know, because I'm tired of not not being able to work, not having money, and I am I know I'm not physically up to it, but I want to try it because I, for lack of anything else, presenting itself. And y'all know I don't even have the five bucks I need to put my synthesizer up for sale on Craigslist. <laughs> so it's like, you know, because, well, I would sell it right now.